Uh, and uh, you know that uh, there are a lot of uh, fakes now, a lot of disinformation. And during this uh, my uh, uh, story, this my uh, conversation, I will use only facts which uh, I know from official links and uh, uh, which I saw, saw in my uh, eyes. Uh, now I'm living in Kiev. Uh, this is uh, capital of Ukraine. Uh, my childhood was in Odessa. This is uh, south of uh, Ukraine. Uh, and uh, you know, every day we were living in peace. Uh, yes, uh, eight, eight years ago, the war between Russia and uh, uh, two regions of Ukraine called the Donetsk and uh, Lugansk uh, was started. But uh, I uh, uh, wasn't uh, uh, in that uh, uh, regions, uh, so I uh, all this time I was uh, living in. And uh, some days ago, on twenty fourth of uh, February, I was sleeping at home, and <laughs> I uh, saw sounds. Of, uh, I uh, heard uh, the sounds of explosions. Um, I walked up, uh, I uh, didn't understand uh, what is happening and uh, the problem was um, I, I was alone uh, on the first floor <clears throat> and I started to check my uh, social media uh, and there I um, uh, saw that a uh, big amount of people started to write uh, in Facebook uh, that uh, they heard the sounds of uh, explosions uh, too. Uh, we were scared and af <clears throat> after this, in uh, some uh, minutes, we saw uh, official links, uh, uh, the speech of our president uh, that uh, Russia attacked uh, Ukraine. Uh, and in some minutes we heard uh, the sounds of sirens and uh, it means uh, that we have to go underground and we have uh, to hide from shootings. I can show you even uh, <laughs> where, where, where I'm sleeping. <laughs> you see, this is my bed. This is uh, mm. the drawer where I can uh, leave uh, my fl flat quickly. When I hear that uh, the sirens uh, is uh, sounded, uh, I go away from the windows uh, because uh, our authorities um, says uh, that uh, say that uh, that's uh, right uh, way. Uh, so. Uh, now we have uh, two places uh, where we uh, have to be uh, during the sirens uh, at home or uh, uh, most uh, effect effectively is uh, underground. There are a lot of people there, but uh, there were some situations when underground was damaged by Russia uh, and uh, houses where people are living were damaged too. Today, how are you and uh, how your mood and how did the day uh, by day in Kiev. How do you organize yourself? Uh, you know, um, I was uh, working as uh, before the war as an uh, investigative journalist. I had a work, but now in real situation uh, during the war, it's not right way to tell about corruption. For example, in Ukraine, mm. everybody joins, uh, even our uh, present president and ex-president uh, president joined, but they were like enemies in our political situation. And uh, everybody from journalists who was working in investigations now stopped uh, uh, their work and now we are making use. We tried to inform people about uh, this situation. There are a lot of news uh, even in Ukraine. I have no time to read all the news because they appear in every time and it's too difficult. And that's why I know some uh, uh, some uh, telegram channels so where I can be informed uh, um, more or less uh, effectively. Uh, so uh, now um, I'm trying to help volunteers uh, because uh, we uh, now uh, very 
a big amount of uh, people uh, go to uh, bite uh, with uh, Russian uh, people, Russian soldiers uh, to the army. We have now professional army from Ukraine and now we have uh, people who joined to help and to bite with the Russian soldiers too because the amount of people is not enough and uh, this uh, peace people who uh, decided to take part uh, in war uh, in Ukraine called uh, uh, territorial defense. Uh, so my friends now are taking part in this uh, territorial defense and the problem is uh, that uh, it's uh, not uh, enough things uh, for these uh, people. Clothes, uh, uh, a little gun, but uh, gun is everything okay, almost everything okay now. Uh, and uh, we are trying to, to coordinate uh, people uh, who need and people who can help and who can deliver some products or medicine uh, they uh, need. Um, except this <laughs> uh, helping of volunteers uh, as um, I have a lot of information and not only from official links but uh, from people who are my friends who are uh, fighting with uh, uh, Russian soldiers and um, uh, I uh, trying to pronounce uh, this uh, information which is um, important for people. I'm trying to do it uh, during my uh, TV translation because I'm communicating in live uh, translation with uh, some TV channels of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Uh, every day I'm pronouncing what our army and uh, our ter territorial defense uh, need. Uh, we are afraid because um, um, yesterday we saw official news uh, that there is a risk of problems with internet and connection in our time uh, nowadays is very important because we are having connection only with internets and mobile phones and um, honestly I don't know what we will do if uh, something uh, will be wrong with conne uh, connection but we are optimists and we are believing that everything will be okay. Okay uh, well the, the negotiation have a start isn't it? Uh, Maybe uh, they will start a little. I, I don't know. You uh, you will said you have feel that uh, something around you about that negotiation that have a start or or not. Uh, as for negotiations, this is a very difficult topic. Mm. Uh, because uh, we know that uh, as for negotiations between uh, Belarus and uh, uh, or between uh, Ukraine and uh, uh, Russia, mm. uh, we know that uh, yesterday it was the first time of um, negotiations, uh, but we have uh, no exact uh, things uh, because we have our position. Uh, we have uh, territory of Ukraine, and this is Donetsk, uh, Lugansk, Crimea and uh, Kiev and the whole territory. And uh, Putin uh, says that uh, uh, he wants to rescue our territories and our people from our government and he says uh, that he thinks that Ukraine is part of Russia as I understood and it's uh, really absurd. Uh, and uh, uh, our president will not agree with Putin anywhere and that's why I don't understand, understand if it's possible uh, to solve uh, the problem of the war with a conversation with Putin. Um, you know, um, I'm optimist, I uh, want peace in Ukraine, I want peace in Russia, and uh, I know that uh, Russian people are suffering too now. Uh, and I have a lot of friends in Russia and we're communicating and some of them are understanding all the situation because they can analyze and they're listening to not only Putin, but they're trying to analyze uh, everything uh, and uh, informa uh, information from uh, many links. But um, unfortunately, not every person doing the same. 
Uh, so as for negotiation, I uh, honestly I don't believe that uh, we will we can wait uh, any success. Uh, maybe maybe it's possible, but honestly I don't believe. Uh, it uh, seems to me that uh, now uh, we could do it before Putin started uh, the war. Yes, it was possible. But when uh, he started uh, to shoot uh, his uh, army and uh, his soldiers uh, started to shoot in uh, Ukrainian houses, in Ukrainian hospital, hospitals, uh, it's, uh, I don't know if it's uh, possible really. Uh, as for support uh, Europe and uh, European Union, uh, you know, uh, we wanted to uh, say thank you for support. Yes, in some uh, points, uh, this support is uh, not enough as for me, uh, but uh, European Union is uh, doing uh, um, a lot uh, of uh, things. Uh, for example, we started uh, to get uh, the gun from many countries to get money, uh, to get uh, humanitarian help, and this is really important. And uh, these are things uh, uh, we want to say thank you. And it's not uh, it's uh, not only message for government, and it's a message for people and uh, for uh, volunteers. Uh, this is <clears throat> the first thing, and the second uh, thing: what uh, Ukrainian uh, uh, Ukraine want uh, now from Europe. We want uh, two things. Uh, uh, now I'm retelling the words of our president. Uh, we want to be a part uh, officially to be a part of uh, European Union because uh, now the situation is we uh, have not reply no, but we have not uh, uh, reply yes. We can't understand <laughs> with us or without us. And in this situation, it, it's um, important to be sure in some things. And we, the second thing is Ukraine want to be a part of NATO. Uh, that's really important. And the same situation as with the European Union. We uh, don't hear yes and we don't hear no. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, as for the sanctions uh, uh, to Russia from the European countries, uh, yes, we want to say thank you, but uh, sanctions, um, uh, it's not enough in this situation. It uh, was enough uh, before uh, the war. Uh, but uh, now I'm not uh, sure that uh, this is uh, this is uh, that uh, sanctions uh, can uh, solve this problem. How do you assess the international position? Um, you have said it, uh, okay, but we need more. Uh, that's what I I I have understand of all these uh, things are being done by Brussels. Uh, so there, that leads to another question that is, is international aid reaching you? Is international uh, aid of um, uh, medicines and, and drugs and others uh, getting you or, or is losing yeah. in the way? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I don't know everything uh, and uh, the whole information. I'm not informed about uh, uh, exact uh, amount of, uh, for example, medicine uh, which I get, uh, which Ukrainian get uh, from every country. But as I see and as I hear, uh, we get a lot of support, uh, medicine, gun, drugs, money. We have uh, our official uh, bill of our army and a lot of people from all over the world donate to this bill. So yes, we get all um, the help. We say thank you. We uh, ask uh, help not to stop do this because now the situation is that uh, we uh, almost have no products in supermarkets. We even uh, can't uh, uh, buy, uh, for example, bread. It's not mm. enough because uh, during first uh, three days of uh, war, everybody uh, 
everybody was buying everything and now it's not enough. And the same situation with the medicine and with uh, pharmacy. For example, uh, now the problem is that uh, our army, our territorial defense uh, need a lot of uh, medicine, uh, but we have no places to buy it. We have money which are donated to us, but we have, uh, uh, it's uh, wrong to say that uh, nowhere, but it's very difficult to find something and uh, uh, the buses and underground is uh, not uh, working as usual. So it's uh, difficult to, to get to that place where we can uh, search something. And uh, one more problem is uh, we have a big deficit of uh, benzene or petrol. So uh, that's why um, Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we need uh, support from abroad. Maybe a test of the fire could be welcomed by the people and while the negotiations are uh, are um, progressing, while they are talking about wherever they uh, conclusion they, they come. Oh, it's very you good know. question about conclusion. Uh, because uh, you know, um, it seems to me that there are two uh, parallel uh, realities. The first mm. one where uh, Putin and Zelensky are trying to speak and to uh, make some con conclusion, uh, get some conclusion. And the second one is uh, during their uh, community, uh, we are suffering uh, from uh, fire, uh, from rockets uh, and from shootings. Uh, uh, so uh, you asked me about uh, territories uh, which Russia was occupied. And I yes. wanted to uh, show you one second the map. Yes, that was another question about you have information about uh, coming from the, the provinces and uh, about uh, provinces uh, i wanted to uh, say um, what we need now uh, what we get what we are getting and what we need uh, now this is uh, radio transmitters uh, bulletproof vests uh, medicine hemostatics uh, bandages uh, uh, thermal uh, imagers uh, drones uh, discharges uh, helmets sleeping bags uh, uh, T-shirts, uh, socks for men, for army, for territorial defense, and uh, diesel in uh, contains. This information about what we are um, receiving from our uh, foreign partners and uh, what uh, uh, we need still and uh, what we ask uh, people to send uh, us. Uh, you, we have we have talked about the negotiations uh, a lot, and but. Do you think that people uh, will work on accession of territories for, in exchange for the peace that it but that Putin is looking for? Uh, looks uh, or we can think. Uh, okay, negotiation is political. It's another thing. Uh, they will uh, talk uh, a lot. But you think that people will work on accession of territories uh, for in exchange for peace or, or for temporal peace? Uh, we can uh, you know, um, I have uh, people in Russia and people in uh, Ukraine are having very different position. Mm. Putin wants uh, we uh, to say, yes, we will give you territory or part of our territory. We say no. It, we, it means our president, our government and our people. Uh, we are joined in this position. Uh, so, I think, uh, I don't know how we can achieve peace uh, using conversation with mm. Putin. I think it's impossible because even for, you know, there is a problem that during eight uh, uh, years of uh, war in uh, Lugansk and uh, Donetsk, a lot of people died. Uh, biting with uh, uh, Russian soldiers. And uh, the problem is that among these people were our friends, our relatives, uh, children of a lot of people. Mm. And the problem 
is that now we can't say, OK, we will give you this uh, territory because what was the reason why these uh, people were dying? And uh, uh, that's why we uh, want to continue uh, this war. We want in ideal Barry and Putin say, say yes, OK, uh, I will leave you territory. <laughs> but I don't know if uh, it's uh, possible. <laughs> Uh, but um, we want peace, but we don't uh, to uh, give our territory to Putin. You know, the example is Putin says Spain is my territory. I want to uh, rescue people who are living in Spain from their government. And he started the war. This is the same. We don't understand why he decided that Ukraine is uh, his uh, territory. And uh, you know that um, to Russian soldiers, uh, we know this information uh, that uh, they were informed that we will have uh, some lessons uh, in some technical moments uh, as for the war. And uh, uh, and it was the second reason, uh, the first reason. And uh, the second reason was Putin says that uh, they uh, that uh, he wants they to rescue us. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, when uh, they uh, delivered to, to our territory, uh, they uh, uh, were waiting that we will say thank you. We were trying to explain we are we don't reach to be <laughs> rescued and uh, uh, there was there were a lot of uh, people from Russian soldiers who uh, understood this situation, said sorry, um, told everything to our soldiers. Uh, they made a video, they um, shared with uh, this video in the internet. Uh, and, uh, but uh, unfortunately, Russian people uh, don't see this information because Ukrainian sites blocked in Russia the same way as Russian sites and TV channels are blocked in Ukraine. Uh, this is good, but uh, uh, this is and bad uh, all in one. Uh, so we hope for the best. Mm. And you know, I wanted to add, uh, to add, I wanted to show you the map of um, our territories. Uh, do you see this map? Uh, I, I think that you have sent me before and maybe I can, I can, uh, when I uh, edit the video, I can put it, uh, be very quiet because it's the same map you sent me, you know, about uh, the territories that you yourself are making to get uh, information about how the progression of the Russian it's in, yes. in, in yes. Ukraine, isn't it? Okay. I will send you this uh, map. Uh, this is map uh, uh, as uh, of uh, February, uh, February, February uh, mm -hmm. 28th. Uh, information from yesterday, but I know uh, this is uh, uh, the last one. Uh, you know that on this uh, map uh, there are some uh, uh, red areas, and uh, these are the areas where is uh, the war is continuing. Uh, you asked me about uh, Ukrainian territories, uh, territory which were occupied or no. You know that uh, this information is changing every minute. Uh, because uh, the problem is, uh, it's not a problem, it's our reality that, for example, now I'm reading the news uh, that uh, one of uh, uh, Ukrainian region was uh, occupied by uh, Russia soldiers. And uh, one, in, in some moments I see another news and uh, I already already understand that this uh, territory was uh, rescued. Uh, I can say about uh, plans of uh, Russia, which uh, we informed uh, uh, now, and uh, the plans are there are uh, the most uh, the biggest amount of um, uh, hottest uh, point as for war is uh, our border of uh, in uh, north, uh, uh, south, and uh, west. Uh, the most peaceful territory is uh, near Lviv and uh, near our mountains. Uh, 
uh, and uh, besides a lot of technique, uh, a lot of uh, rockets uh, we get from uh, uh, Belarus too, and this is important. So, uh, as you know, Belarus and uh, Russia are uh, playing uh, this game, uh, making the war information, I mean, and uh, making uh, this uh, war together. As for the plans of Russia, the main city, the main uh, the capital of Ukraine uh, is uh, Kiev. Uh, so we heard that they want to uh, occupy this territory because there are a lot of people. Uh, here, this is the biggest uh, city uh, in Ukraine. So. Uh, this is uh, really uh, awful, but uh, we understand uh, understand uh, the mood of our people. Uh, we can't allow uh, Russia to do it. Uh, it's, it's impossible. Uh, I don't know if uh, Putin uh, understands it, but uh, he won't be able to do it because uh, we will bite to the last and, uh, you know, uh, a lot, uh, not a lot, but uh, there were some groups of people who decided to, to leave Ukraine. Uh, this is uh, a big amount um, of people, but uh, uh, the most uh, amount of people decided to stay in Ukraine because uh, Ukrainian soldiers uh, need help and uh, we have to uh, search uh, something they need uh, to search uh, some information uh, they need to uh, publish some information they need etc uh, so that's why it's important and a lot of people decided to stay uh, in ukraine to the last uh, because uh, we don't uh, we want uh, ukraine to stay uh, uh, ukraine uh, my uh, relatives are, are living um, in the south uh, and uh, there were some uh, attacks uh, there, but now everything is okay. Yes, in every town, every day, uh, we are hearing the sounds of sirens and uh, uh, in most of cities of Ukraine, uh, we are hearing about shootings, about gun, about uh, explosions. Uh, but uh, the most amount of uh, cities of our territory is uh, under Ukraine control. Mm. For um, finishing uh, this interview, tell us uh, how can we help you and what uh, do you ask to the, um, to the population of, uh, I said, Spain, uh, also Europe, but they am to help you that to end uh, sooner than later. Thank you for this question. Uh, um, I uh, uh, will reply, I will divide this qu question on the three parts. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, the uh, uh, very important help is uh, information, is uh, sharing uh, true information. Because not every person uh, understands uh, what is happening. And uh, for us, it's really important Peter, uh, people from all over the world to understand uh, a real situation in uh, Ukraine. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, we are trying to uh, block uh, uh, all Russians' uh, TV channels, Telegram channels, Twitter channels, because it's impossible to read what they are writing. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, the first uh, uh, point. The second one is uh, we have uh, a bill of uh, our army. I sent uh, this uh, bill you in uh, the article uh, in uh, Facebook. You can publish it. Uh, this is uh, the bill uh, where people from Spain uh, can uh, donate uh, uh, can donate uh, for support our army, clothes, gun, etc. Uh, as for things which could be sent to Ukraine, uh, I will pronounce uh, this uh, list. Um, this is a list, uh, uh, as I told you, there are a lot of friends who are now biting with Russian soldiers and we have a deficit in some points of some things. And uh, the things are, I will repeat it, uh, radio transmitters, uh, bulletproof vests, 
medicine, hemostatics uh, and uh, bandages, uh, thermal imagers, drones, uh, discharge, uh, helmets, uh, sleeping bags, uh, uh, lanterns, uh, t-shirts, socks, uh, uh, for men and uh, diesel in contains. Uh, this is the, the list of uh, the information from our soldiers, which uh, was uh, sent me by uh, them yesterday in the evening, uh, because uh, the problem is people want to go to buy to the army, but uh, they have uh, no clothes and no things uh, that I uh, really need. And I want to, to add that I thank you, uh, thank, uh, uh, want to say thank you people uh, from all the Spain, from every city of Spain, from uh, even abroad, <laughs> living in Spain in, and uh, support Ukraine because, uh, uh, you know, it's really important. Every day I'm getting a lot of uh, messages, including Spain, uh, from people who are my friends, uh, from people which is unknown by me, uh, with uh, the words of uh, support. Uh, they ask me about how can they help, what they can do. And uh, that's really important, uh, uh, not only because it's pleasure, but it's pleasure, uh, but uh, because, um, uh, you know, it gives a lot of strength uh, to continue uh, to bite, to fight, as a volunteer, as a journalist, as a soldier, and uh, it's uh, really cool that uh, uh, almost all the Europe, and not only Europe, are supporting Ukraine. We uh, even didn't uh, expect that we will have so much support, honestly. <laughs> Okay, well, that that's all, uh, Anastasia. Thank you very much for the interview. <laughs> I will thank go to the center. <laughs> thank you very yeah. much, uh, and wow. with the situation ends uh, as soon as later. We talk, we are in, in touch, and I uh, hope uh, you have internet alone of that crisis. Um, and we talk, uh, Anastasia, thank you very much for this thank interview. You inform you uh, about some uh, main things and I will now send you the map. Okay, if you want to add anything uh, to interview? Uh, as for a map, uh, as for the bill of our army, I uh, sent uh, this bill to uh, our uh, Facebook uh, messenger uh, and I think uh, that's all. Okay. Well, yeah, uh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, maybe yes. you know, I pronounced it, uh, the list of um, the things uh, which uh, need our army. Uh, you can publish uh, maybe uh, this uh, list. I will uh, resend it to you uh, by text. Where and uh, it seems yes. to me that uh, maybe even in your language it uh, will be more understandable for your people. Uh, maybe somebody have relatives or friends uh, who are having possibility to deliver something of this to Ukraine. Because, for example, uh, our Fred, friend, uh, friends from Poland are already connected with me from European Vocal Camp, and uh, they uh, are uh, gathering a lot of things from this list, and they are sending uh, this uh, all this to us. But Spain is much more far uh, from uh, uh, Ukraine than um, uh, Poland. That's why I don't know if it's uh, possible. Maybe. Uh, much more easier just to, to send money or maybe if you have uh, some friends in uh, near Ukraine, they can uh, help us with this list and uh, uh, if somebody will be ready to help us, you can send to the, uh, these people my page in Facebook. I'm ready to reply all the questions. Uh, um, I, I think that's all uh, what we can publish. Perfect. We can over uh, put over the video your Facebook if you if you want and your your link your uh, URL 
uh, Facebook and on Overprint and um, and people to uh, to get to the video that um, could uh, contact with you. Um, and we also will um, we will publish them on our website and try to share your uh, your um, your video and your interview because it's very interesting and trying to know what is um, happening day by day in in Kiev um, that you have uh, said us. Uh, I think that everything is is say is, have been said in this interview. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm not against. Uh, you can publish my uh, link to my Facebook, uh, and uh, I will be glad if people will uh, write me, ask, uh, or maybe somebody can help or can organize uh, this help or to connect connect with people who can organize it. Because uh, we now connected, as I said, in interview people who need and people who want and we are trying to do it uh, uh, with maximum uh, uh, as for um transportation because uh, it's really difficult to deliver something uh, now uh, but I, I think uh, thank you Th thank you anyway it's really important to, uh, to pronounce this and it's really important to people from abroad to hear this information Okay, thank you very much, Anastasia. Um, the best for these days, and try. Uh, you will tell us, but uh, uh, what I said uh, with uh, that all uh, thing that is happening uh, ends as soon uh, as uh, as it comes, um, and and uh, ends uh, sooner than later. And we maybe in some weeks we can talk of that like a like a nightmare that is has happened and just gonna start again uh, from uh, a different way. Uh, thank you very much, Anastasia, and we talk. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>